Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I want to talk about this, which is my new 6 terabyte hard drive. Did you hear that? This is a 6 terabyte hard drive. This is actually a Western Digital green drive. As you may know, Western Digital divide their drives for the desktop into different colours. They have blue drives, which are sort of standard drives. They have black drives, which are the enterprise class drives, just things you use for storing things like um, digital video. They have green drives like this one. Green drives are not the best drives as a boot drive, but they're um, very high capacity normally and very low energy, hence, hence they call them the, the green drive. And then for completeness now, they also have red drives, which are used um, in RAID arrays. Watch RAID, we'll watch my RAID video link up somewhere over there, I think. Um, and finally now, um, they also have their purple drives, which are for use in desktop systems that record CCTV cameras. What a lot of drives. Anyway, this is my new, have I mentioned it, six terabyte green drive, and now it's high time I used it and put it into some kind of case. Right, it's time to uh, get this thing open. So if we just open up the case, there we are. Get the thing out. Here is our disc. It's rather stuck in the plastic there. There we are. And of course it's in an anti-static bag as these things always are. And yes, we'll need some scissors just to get into that. There we are. Here is our, I still find quite amazing, if it'll come out, six terabyte hard drive. Let's put it down over here. And there we are, six terabytes in a three and a half inch hard drive. I'm going to mount this in a case. A particular case is this one, which sits on my desk providing some uh, rapid access offline storage. I can just flick the switch at the back and have access, as you can see, to currently a one and a half terabyte Western Digital Green Drive. But if I take all the things off the case here, I can take it away and upgrade it with the six terabyte drive. The case, as you can see here, is from um, Icybox. If you can see that uh, black lettering on black, this is basically a standard USB 3 enclosure. You can see the USB 3 connector and the switch at the back there. And to uh, get the drive out of this, all I've got to do is not to go to the screws at the back, which is one screw here, which if I opened up with my uh, trusty yellow screwdriver, yes, it's my yellow screwdriver there, and take out that one little screw, and then in theory, I think it now should, yes, the magic process of sliding, if I can keep it in shot there for you, um, slowly this will come out, and there we are. And we will discover that inside here, the whole case comes up as one nice piece of metal, we have a um, one and a half terabyte uh, Western Digital green drive. So what I need to do is to remove the screws that hold that drive, these are on the side of the case in the normal places. So if I take all four of these screws out, this is the last one at the top there, oops, underneath. And with that removed, it should be possible to just literally slide the drive back off the SATA connector, take it out and do a replacement. It's a bit like a heart transplant. It's probably nothing like a heart transplant, is it? No. Well, it is. I always find amazing how beautifully modular computer equipment is. That's, that's, that's in. You see, we fitted one Western Digital Drive for another. And of course, we now just reverse the process and everything goes back together, hopefully, beautifully. Well, if I can just get the screw in line there, start that one off. And there we are. So if I just put the screws back in. And uh, here we are with the last screw there. So that's all now secured back in place. So I can now just uh, put this thing back into, I think it goes like that, into the case. There we are. It'll go in. And as you may notice by the, the magic of filmmaking, our icy box is now beautifully clean because uh, I've taken off the label so I can put a new label in. I just need to align this screw with that hole hopefully like that, and that there little screw will go in to hold everything 
secure. It's a very nice, a simple but very effective design, this case. One thing I should note is I'm putting here a, a replacement drive in going from 1.5 to 6 terabytes. Note that older hard drive cases, that's more than about sort of a four or five years ago now, cases that aren't perhaps USB 3, they quite possibly won't be able to take a drive more than two terabytes, so do make sure you're only upgrading a newer sort of case. Anyway, that's all ready to connect to the computer in a second. But you might be thinking, what am I going to do with the, um, the old drive? Well, I'm going to connect it to the computer for a bit by its, uh, by its SATA connector there to copy the files across. But after that, I'm going to store it as a, as a deep backup. And we're going to store it in this thing. This is a uh, little um, what Orico um, case. I haven't used these before, but they seem quite a good idea. Anti-static boxes that you can put on your shelf. And in theory, you can open that up and you can store your uh, archived hard drives in the box. It seems to go in and there we are. That's quite a nice way to keep your older hard disks. Right, I've now got the new disk in its housing connected to the PC and I'm on a Windows 7 desktop. I'm going to go into Computer, which I've just got sitting there for you. I'm going to Manage. That'll bring up um, Computer Management, as you would probably guess. We now need to go into uh, Disk Management. And hopefully, oh yes, it's picked up the new disk. That's always a good sign. It's picked up what will be disk five on this system. Now we now have to choose between uh, a partition style, which is MBR, Master Boot Record, or GPT, GUID, Partition Table. And here I'm going to pick GPT, which is what Windows recommends for a drive greater than two terabytes. So I'm going to click OK on that. And hopefully then, we will find where is disk five. There it is. Wow. Um, I still find this quite amazing. Six terabytes all waiting to be uh, formatted. So all I've got to do is to go into a uh, new simple volume, um, new simple volume wizard, nothing fancy going on here. This is going to be a simple scratch drive. Drive I'll be fine. Um, what am I going to call it? I'm going to call it um, WD in uh, two, and then next, um, and that drive now exists. And it's being formatted up, and there we are. We now have a healthy working drive. That's a fantastic thing. If I can close that down, if I can just open up computer, and you will see that there. there's our drive, Western Digital Green um, properties. And there we are. I now have, um, well, 5.45 terabytes available. I now just need to copy all the files from the old drive to the new drive, but I don't think I'll show you that because it would take a very, very long time. The first ever hard drive I purchased for a PC had 120 megabyte capacity, which is about half the capacity needed to store this particular video. Six terabyte drives I therefore do find absolutely amazing, although Western Digital have recently announced um, 10 terabyte drives, drives that actually are, have a, a helium uh, atmosphere inside the drive rather than normal air, so there's less drag on, on the platters and the head. And so we'll see 10 terabyte drives sometime in 2015, or indeed you might have seen them already if you're watching this video um, many years into the future. Anyway, that's the video all done now. That's the end of the time where I go, six terabyte hard drive, isn't that amazing? Um, so that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.